Hello everyone! Techno Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are on uh, episode 8, I think, of the Dual Boot series where we show you how to set up your computer to boot from multiple operating systems. Now this episode is going to be pretty simple. I've got to actually show you what the BIOS screen is going to be like, so I can't do a screen capture for this episode. That's why you are looking at me. Now, in the last episode we created a floppy disk that would allow us to uh, boot basically our boot manager to let us select whatever operating system we want. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that our BIOS is configured to boot from a floppy disk and a CD-ROM drive because we are going to also install a second operating system. So first thing you need to do is uh, go ahead and don't worry about putting it in the disk yet. Just uh, go to start and uh, you know turn off and restart your computer. I'm going to let it log off here. Now uh, the boot manager is very straightforward. The reason I'm doing it this way first is essentially you know, I want to make sure everything's working before we actually start installing your second operating system. Now what you're going to get is you're going to get your BIOS flash screen here. and It's going to say in the bottom left hand corner or the upper right hand corner what button to press to enter your BIOS. Mine says escape. Not, yeah, actually mine says delete. So I press delete and this is going to boot my computer in BIOS. Okay. Now this, this BIOS might not look exactly like yours but there's two features we're looking for. We're looking for something that's called a boot sequence or order of boot operations. And in mine, it is in the advanced BIOS features. So if I open that up, essentially it says my first boot device is my CD-ROM. Now, first boot device is my removable, which is a floppy disk. Second boot device is my CD-ROM. And my third boot device is my hard disk. And this is how you should have it configured. Make sure you have your floppy disk to boot first, your CD-ROM to boot second, and your hard drive to boot third. Otherwise, if you put your floppy drive in or your CD-ROM drive in, it's never going to get detected when you first turn on your computer. Now, mine's as simple as going to that device, pressing enter, and then essentially selecting which device I want, and then pressing enter again. Sometimes you have to press plus and minus on your keyboard to make it move up and down, uh, but there's a number of ways, and just go through your menus until you find what you're looking for, for the boot, for the boot, basically the boot sequence. And then after that, there's one more feature that a lot of you probably should know about, because it took me a long time to figure this out. A lot of BIOSes don't enable USB support when you first boot up your computer, probably for load time purposes. Um, but if you have a USB mouse or a USB keyboard, it'll work for the first time you press delete, but then after that, when you get to the boot menu, your mouse, your keyboard won't work and you won't be able to select your operating system. That one's under integrated peripherals on my menu. And I'm going to press enter on that. And what I have here is I have USB devices and I have to press enter on that. And what I have here is USB mouse support is enabled and USB storage support is enabled. And I also need USB keyboard support, okay? So really it's keyboard is what you need because the boot menu uh, is a DOS based boot menu and you need to make sure that your USB keyboard is enabled so that you can actually select the item you want from the boot menu. Now, after you've changed those, you've enabled the USB key support, you've made sure it's going to boot off your floppy and your CD-ROM, CD-ROM so we can install our new operating system. Go ahead and put your floppy disk in the drive, go back to your main menu, Make sure you go to save and exit setup and press enter. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to do that. Yes, we do. And of course, let it reboot like it normally does. And now it's going to boot off the floppy and we're going to see if you set up your boot manager properly. Now, if you actually did the boot manager like you did in my previous episode, you're probably not going to have any problems with this. Um, I'm going to show you the five second delay here that we talked about. You can go ahead and remove that because I'm going to remove it from my boot menu in the final one. Just picked up the floppy. Boot manager starts in five seconds. It's going to count down. That's our five second delay. And here's our boot manager. Now, notice this one says it's hidden. This is the Vista one. It's hidden, which we set it up to do that because it's a primary partition. It's going to hide that one if I boot XP. I've got 30 seconds. It's counting down. If I scroll down, it's going to hide the XP one. And, you know, again, this is my Windows Vista boot. So I'm not going to boot off Vista, of course, because I haven't installed the operating system yet. I'm going to boot off XP just to show you that my operating system still works with this boot menu. So press enter on Windows XP. And there's our Windows XP load screen. So 
that's pretty much all there is to this episode. I want to make sure you have your BIOS configured properly because in the next episode, we're actually going to install our new operating system. And now we know that our BIOS is configured to read off our CD-ROM drive. So the next episode is going to go much smoother. So when we put in the CD-ROM drive to actually install the operating system, I'll be able to show you straightforward all the steps you need to take to make sure, make sure you install the operating system on the proper partition. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget about the giveaway. For those of you who are just joining me, there is a giveaway. It's ending November 30th at midnight, 2009. For those of you who have tuned into my show way later. Uh, and the winner will be announced on December 1st. It's for a free laptop. And uh, if you need more information on that, just go straight to my channel. It's going to be the featured film until we actually give the item away. So, thanks again.